I'm Ellie from crystallinks.com. Today is Saturday, July 20th, 2019. 50 years ago today, I was alive. <laughs> I was in the Catskill Mountains and barefoot and pregnant, going to Woodstock, thinking about a new organization that had just started called MUFON, which had to do with the search for extraterrestrial life on other planets, on this planet. All these little things were weighing on my mind. Uh, on the night of the 20th, I fell asleep because I was pregnant. I probably fell asleep by six o'clock or seven o'clock. But then my husband woke me up and he said, the astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin had just landed on the moon. You've got to see it. They planted the flag. So of course I woke up and I watched and people were cheering all over the place. I mean, whether it was real or not remains to be seen. Uh, we segue from that to 50 years have passed and questions about they brought rocks back, they brought this back. There was a glitch in the video while they were there. And of course, you don't even have to be a conspiracy theorist because I'm not a tried and true one, but the conspiracy theories lend themselves to A, this was all staged, which I don't believe. I really believe they've been to the moon. B, they're covering up everything and anything, which is what most Americans think because the government covers up everything. So why not, you know, UFO encounters and what's really on the moon? And then why in the last 50 years, why haven't humans returned to the moon? Is it because they don't have the money? I mean, the money that we spend on global confrontations in all the countries around the world is ridiculous. We could use that money. We could have gone back to the moon. Is it because the government has been told, do not send, okay, uh, humans back to the moon because of something that the astronauts might have seen, such as we all suspect, especially people like me who remote view, we suspect that there are alien bases there. Actually, most of us know they exist. There's lunar mining going on. There's things underneath the surface. Um, it's like, just tell us. Uh, September 20th of this year, there is something called Storm Area 51. Area 51 is where allegedly a UFO, you know, in, in Roswell, New Mexico, the UFO crashed, which is one of many crashes across the planet. And We've got technology, we've had aliens, we've had encounters, we've had agreements, we've had all of these things that have happened since that time. And one has to wonder, how long can they hide the secrets? So now they sign a petition. Now, I would never sign a petition, first of all, to all to Storm Area 51, but let's say I was like my neighbor, he's a young, healthy guy, and he says, I want to find out what's going on there. So he gathers a friend or two and he goes there. But the truth being known, I mean, the government has already said if they decide to do that, shoot, shoot, you know, shoot, 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 or military, they cannot come into the base. But the people, the conspiracy theories, theorists believe that if they all go storming <laughs> in, they can't kill them all. This is the the inner part of all of this that is sick and tired of not just our government, but global governments who hide things from us. The world has become a conspiracy. The president is a ridiculous person named Donald Trump, if you happen to see this in some distant future, who, who just provokes and encourages the conspiracies globally. But let's not get Trump into this, because Trump has gone as far as the moon goes. He started off with going to the moon having a space force, and we are going to do this and that. And then suddenly Trump said, no, I don't think so. Now all of a sudden he's back to, let's go to the moon. So there's so many secrets. And whatever your belief system is, why we never went back, what was the thinking then, and what is the thinking today, I would imagine you're feeling, isn't it time that humanity knew what was going on, and what we could do about it. I mean, I, actually, we can't do much about it, but at least let people know. If you work in my circles of alien research, and I have had an alien encounter, but if you work in my circles, you know that alien uh, UFOs 
have increased in number and sightings. Okay, no one has ever got out of a ship and said, "Hi, Earthlings, <laughs> I'm from Zeta Reticuli or some other space place." You know, now no one's ever really announced themselves to the public. Uh, people in the public believe this is going to happen. It may, may not. Do these aliens actually have bases on the moon? I believe they do. And I also believe that the moon is like a portal, a gateway that goes from certain points on Earth to the moon, to Mars, and to beyond. There's really no question about it. The way humanity is going on this planet, the scientists are saying it is not going to be sustainable much longer. So the billionaires have their own corporations and companies, and they are building, I don't know what, ships, they're bigger than ships, I don't know what you call it, motherships maybe, but they are building facilities that can take you off the planet and into space, you know, should something happen here, because the Earth is on borrowed time. We're getting earthquakes on all the continents, the climate is ridiculous, the temperatures outside are ridiculous, um, you really have to be like completely in a fog to not know and understand that reality as we know it is marching somewhere and it's marching very, very quickly. And you have to draw your own conclusions. I can only tell you what I know, what I see, what I believe. You have to figure things out on your own. But there is, because this reality, and I call it a simulation, is definitely imploding. There is a need for answers. Humanity, if you ask anyone who researches, okay. Humanity is reaching out to find the answers to who created us, why we're here, and where we're going. That is the ultimate question since the beginning of time. You know, what is going on? What is this all about? And is there anything we can do about it? If it's a simulation, it's just gonna play itself out, it's gonna fade to black, and that's gonna be it. But in the meantime, this is like this whole exciting new chapter of space. You know, uh, I, a lot of those astronauts, by the way, I do wanna mention this, have said that they did see things on the moon, and they did see things in space. You wanna call them UFOs, go call them lights, call them anything you wanna call them. I just believe everyone has their own experience with this, but the fact is, it's 50 years later, the world has changed, it's not the same place, it shouldn't be the same place, some things are better, some things are worse, technology is better. The technology, by the way, did come as reverse engineered from these fresh UFOs, which in case you don't know that, I, th I throw that into the mix. But the whole thing about the moon is to go somewhere off planet and establish the moon or Mars or wherever, establish some sort of livable space. Um, when the Chinese were there recently, they planted little seeds in the lunar soil. And who knows, maybe they'll go back and they'll find flowers growing or things. It's doubtful. I don't think so. I don't think the climate permits that. They probably died right away, but I remember reading that story. So, on this day, 50 years ago, I was barefoot and pregnant, <laughs> and watching this lunar landing and knowing that I've had ET encounters when I was age 11, and that something, something bigger in the bigger picture, like, like opening a new chapter, a new door, something was going on, and that something has progress forward, even though the average human is just walking around, just doing their thing, and that's it, you know, but it's progress forward to today. The conspiracies have to stop. The lies have to stop. Uh, I thought Donald Trump would be the guy he likes to be the center of attention. I thought the reason he was elected, besides being a diversion for everything, I thought he was elected because he would bring the truth. You know, this is the truth, but so far he hasn't. So, on that note, you can reflect back if you lived in that timeline, or you can move forward and just say, all right, let's see what's going on in space, in the future, and thank you for listening.